Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Soul in the Ark. I'm Flinger and I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. All right. Um, I think today I'm going to start working a little bit more on the bass. I've been uh, working a little bit um, and I crafted up here what I think is going to be where the greenhouse is going to be. All right. Um, it took me a little bit and it... Uh, I was able to fit some uh, stone pillars and whatnot, just get the beginning infrastructure, and I'm falling to my death. All right. So I was able to get the uh, beginning infrastructure up here of what is going to be the new base built up along here. And I'm going to have, I think, railings right here on this right side. On this left side, this is all going to be base eventually. Um, and so I had to build this ramp up like this and whatnot. I mean, this right here took a long time, actually, to build. I should have done that on camera because there's a few little tricks I figured out along the way. I had to build... Um, here, let me punch this up. I had to build a ceiling right here and then two of the slanted walls right here and then a slanted roof right there and then a wall. Let me come over here so you can see. And then a wall right here so I could build another ceiling coming out like this with another slanted, another slanted, and then a slanted roof on top of that with another wall just so I could build the ceilings along this way. And it was a bit a bit awkward, but I did it and it worked. All right, but um, I think today I'm going to do start enclosing the top in stone and seeing exactly how that's going to work. I've got a bunch of stone ceilings and stone pillars already built. All right, let me get rid of some weight. Foo, you can go over there. Thanks, dude. All right, and I have a whole bunch of stone ceilings that I've crafted up. I mean, not a whole, whole bunch, but enough for me because, see, this is single player, and I know I'm stubborn, but I refuse to use console commands. I just refuse to cheat. So that's just one of those things I just will not do. Even though it is single player, I'm just not going to do it. All right, so... Wrong one. Okay. So, there we go. Okay. So, let's see if I can start replacing some of these with this. Now, I'm going to get really encumbered here in a minute. Okay. I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get this all like this. And while I'm going, I'm just going to craft up, uh, get rid of all this wood I'm carrying. Um, let's see. I'm going to need a whole bunch of pillars, right? So I think I'm going to go with pillars. Okay. So as I'm going, I'm just going to craft up a whole bunch of pillars with the wreckage that I get from uh, replacing all these. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. That just won't do. Wait. How come that one did that? There's wood underneath there, right? Huh. Well, I'll come take a look at that here in a minute and see exactly what... See, that one did it too. That's so odd. Okay. Is it just on the ones where the pillars are? It is. It is just on the ones where the pillars are. Okay. And that one snapped to that. That's so odd. All right. Let's craft up some more pillars. Get rid of this weight. All right. Break that sucker. Break that sucker. And I'm going to put stone slanted roofs right here. So where this whole area up here is just all stone. And I'm also going to have to pipe some water up here. And I'm going to have to... Uh, get the crop plots made, built up here, and then after that, I'm gonna start, I have to get an area over here, up up top, where I can start building a fabricator and whatnot, just so where I have one. I'll probably end up destroying it and moving it later, but I'm gonna need that for crafting the uh, greenhouse. Oh, well, you guys should just get rid of that. All right, okay. And see, I was not able to get rid of the nubs up on this area. It just wasn't going to happen. Um, the way that the ground is just wouldn't let me place a pillar without the nub. 
and I'm not sure what was causing that. I think it was just the ground was too close. All right, so that's that. Let's get these crafted up and then get down here. Unload this stuff. Go craft up some uh, crop plots, and I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to uh, place down some crop plots, all right? I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Okay, and I decided that before I put up the crop plots, being I already have a whole bunch made, um, I think I made eight medium. All right, that's that'll do nicely for what I need. Um, I decided that I'm going to need to put up the water, the irrigation first. So um, I'm not exactly sure which spot I should start. Okay, let me see. I have these, and uh, where's the vertical? Okay, 16 vertical. All right, see, because it's pretty high up. But I'm not sure if I should put it here and run it down or if I should put it over here and run it down. Uh, I don't know. It's... Hmm. If I put it up here and then uh, run a central line right here, that should do it. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so, let's see, I want to put it, let's see, let's lead off with a straight, okay, put it, let's see if we can get it as straight as possible, it's so hard to eyeball this with just that little green little bit, probably going to mess this up, I usually do, but hey, okay, you're way back here, okay. No. Right, let's see if that does it. Okay. And I'll just build a vertical one straight out of it. Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. It's a little bit high. But hey, alright. Yes, I can. Okay, so alright. That's irrigated, that's irrigated, that's not irrigated. Are you too far away? Well, that's easily remedied. Oh no, it is irrigated, okay. Yep, they're all irrigated. Alright, that's really all I need, okay. So, and I... A lot of people like to run these under the ground, but I actually like to run them up like this. I don't know why. I guess it's the the falling water that I just find interesting, but I enjoy those up high. All right. Um, some people try to get them down as far into the um, into the ground as they possibly can. Uh, if it works for them and if they enjoy it, that's cool. I I like it like that. I mean, it might not look the best. I guess I don't know. I think it looks cool. All right. So, moving on. All right, let me go unload this stuff. Um, I need to start setting up some pillars and whatnot out here, okay? This is gonna be kind of a long in long build, but you know what? I enjoy long builds. So, let's see, let's get that. Now I'm going to get over here. Get stone ceiling. Stone pillar, ceiling, pillar, and let's get started on this. All right. Okay, how far can I take this out? Okay, uh, zero. Okay. Oh, I forgot to grab my wood pillars. This isn't going to work without wood pillars. I'll show you a trick here in a minute. Um, let's see. How far do I want to break that out? I think here is a good. It is it is a good. It, here's good. All right. Let's go get some stone pillars. Or wood pillars. Wood pillars, wood pillars. I don't need a hundred. I don't need that many. Okay. Let's go with that. Put that down there. All right. Now here is how. Well, let's see. We have to find where the pillar is. Okay, so zero. Okay, I can build there. I cannot build there. Okay, so if I put one there, 
And I cannot build there either. Okay, oh, that's right, because when I was initially building that. Okay, so here's how you have to do this. All right, now, you take this, put that halfway through, and then you come down here. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. All right, take this, and you drag it down. You'll have a second snap point, and you snap that all the way in. You go all the way down with that. All right, and you put that like that. All right, so now I should be able to build one there. Okay, so I take, put that halfway in, and then go like this. Up. All right, there. And you have the halfway point. Come down like that, drag that all the way down to the ground. Is that in? No, that's not in. Okay, now that's in. All right, and then take another ceiling. Pop that up there. All right. All right. And then drag that down. Take that all the way down. All right. And then we go over to the next. Uh, once I get stuck on the geometry. All right. Can't do it from down here. Lovely. Now I have to run back up. See, this is constant, constant running around up here. Oh, and see, these right up here, now I can just pop this out of here. And it won't really do anything. Alright, and it's just gone. And, no nub. It's an interesting little trick. Alright. So eight, right in the middle. All right, and I'm just gonna put another ceiling right here while I'm at it. Oh, I haven't brought that down all the way yet. Oh, lovely. Okay. It's down like this. Oh, wrong one. Nine. Okay, now I should be able to bring down another one. So get out of here. Okay. Bring it down over like this. Alright. Pop that there. Pop that there. Pop that there. Alright. Okay. And now, let's see. Back down, and back down, back down, all right. Yeah, this is going to cost me a lot of resources when it comes to building how far out I want to go. But that's half the fun, you know? Building something big, and then figuring out the ways you want to do it, and... Oh. I just find that really, really intriguing, compelling, and interesting. All right, let's see. Let's go grab some more ceilings. I know I don't have enough for how many, how big I want to make this, but I don't plan on doing the whole thing in one day. This kind of build, it takes uh, a long time. Um, yeah. So we have all that, all right, and so I can, I'm going to have to grab the Argent here pretty soon. All right, take this out there, okay, this, this, and that out there, this, this, and that out there, and you know, save on some ceilings because I know I don't have enough. I'm just going to bring it like that for now. Alright, so now I have the spots where I know I need to build the pillars. Right there. Alright, so let's go with eight. Eight. Get 
that there. Put that there. All right, and let's see if I can maneuver this. I had it. Ah, there we go. All right. Let's see if I can get this one over on this side. Come on. There you go. All right. And let's see over here. I already did that one. I should have probably just turned around and got the other one. All right. All right. Let's get this one over here. Come on. There you go. All right. And this one here. I need to go get more stone pillars here in a minute. All right, let me go get the rest of my stone pillars. Okay. Stone pillars. Okay. Come up this side. Around over here. Ah. Right. I knew that one wasn't in the ground. For this section and that was not in the ground you can tell it's not in the ground it wants to look like it's in the ground but it wasn't in the ground right. Get that one all right so let's see how far out can we go let me see it keeps wanting to do that or I keep wanting to do that Let me through here, Dr. T. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. And I still want to bring it out even further, so I'm going to need probably about another... Let's see. I have three left of 38 for this section, so I'm going to need probably about another 100 pillars at least. Hundred pillars. And soon I'll be able to count off how many ceilings I'm gonna need. Put that there, put that there, and then just for reference, put that there. Alright. And I think I'm out of ceilings. I might be. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I am. If I am, you know what? Then I'm just going to go have to put this on hold and go out and tame something because there's only so much building that I can do in one episode before it just becomes old and monotonous and whatnot. Okay. Here, let's go take a look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're building a platform. A very, very big platform. Now, I was going to build this out here even further, and I think I might eventually, but I kind of I kind of like this. I think I'm going to put a big metal gate right here and it goes inside the base. So, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and also, uh, yesterday I came down here and I threw some... Okay, yeah, this stuff isn't ready yet. Eh. Does that not have enough poop in it? Oh, that needs another medium. Alright. I threw a bunch of poop in here. Let me see. Uh, medium poop. I need one last medium poop. Which one of you wants to give me a medium poop? There we go. Duck down. Alright. Thank you for the poop. Nope. No, 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 no. Alright, welcome back. I'm just fishing for beaver over here. I just found this guy level 8. Alright, now here's one of the easiest ways I've noticed to fish for beaver. Alright, now see how this guy... Yeah. 
instead of going around and trying to pluck him out of the water, which can be a pain in the butt, just hit this guy once right above him, and he'll chase you for a while. And he'll drag himself and pull himself basically over here to the edge. At least he should. He usually do. Alright, let's see. Can I come over here and he's still aggro on me? If not, there he goes. Alright, come right over. There you go. Alright, hopefully you're higher than level 8. 28. Eh. Not the best. Not even close to the best. Is there any others here? Hmm. There's salmon. A whole bunch of salmon. Alright. Beaver dam down there. I already raided a few beaver dams the other day. Got a whole bunch of cementing paste that last me a little while. Not that long. I need to come out and start raiding a whole bunch of them here soon. Alright, well I guess 28 is what I'm going for. I mean, the beaver I'm going for doesn't have to be super amazing. I'm not going to do some sort of battle beaver or anything. It just has to be able to get me lots of wood quickly. And that's it. And... Beaver's torpor tends to go down insanely fast. And frankly, I don't think I have... Well, I don't want to invest a couple hundred narcotics into just one beaver when I'm just going to be mejo berry taming it because I don't have the Gallimimus for the kibble right now. So a low-level beaver will do just fine for now. All right, so I'm going to get this guy over to the taming pen. Get him knocked out. Stick some berries in his throat. And then hopefully I'll have a beaver here soon. All right, so here we come in for a landing. Come on, dude. Hey, notice the trees, man. All right. This is your last look of the wild before you join captivity. Sorry, dude. All right. See, I love building and whatnot, but taming stuff is just so much fun. I mean, just so much fun. It's much funner than everything else. And I'm going to make sure I have all the berries and whatnot on me here really quick before I even knock him out. He'll be fine in the taming pen, at least for a few minutes. So I'll run back, make sure I have a little bit more uh, Trank Heroes on me, because I only have 12. So, get some more Trank Heroes, Narcotics. Check on my Fertilizer really quick, see if it's done yet. I really don't think it is. I need to go get a Dung Beetle. That's what I need. A Dung Beetle. Hey, one Fertilizer. Alright, that's not enough. Alright, so, let's see. Narcotics, narcotics. Oh, I'm still crafting up more. Narcotics. Um, uh, see, I'll just craft up 45 of these. Alright, um. Where'd that park you? There you are. Alright. And then how much? You should have some measure berries? Yeah, you do. Alright, you have plenty. Right. I don't even have any vegetables growing yet. It's kind of sad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm playing catch-up after the base move. But the base move is so much better. I mean, because I'm so close to the snow biome. I'm so close to... I mean, I'm cl really close to the volcano. A lot closer. And matter of fact, I think tomorrow I'm going to go up there. I'm going to set up a... Uh, probably about three or four refining forges up there. And then uh, get an Anklo. And then take him up there. It's going to be a long trip. But I think it'll be worth it. Oh. Let's see. Whistle passive. That's where you're not trying to go in there. Oh, jeez. And I get the ground. Take that ground. All right. Can I get a headshot on you? I think you want me to get a headshot. Alright, let's 
get you moved around a little bit. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, hit the hit the wall again. You know, I'm just gonna get your butt. Alright. No, the door's not for you, the door's for me. You can't go out it. There you go. And now you're unconscious. Alright, let's get these. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get this guy tamed up and I will bring you guys back shortly, okay? As soon as he's ready to get up. I hate having to babysit, babysit beavers. <laughs> These guys, their torpor goes down so fast. I mean, look at this. Alright, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Alright, All right, and he's up. Uh, that took a long time. Beaver tames are not that fun. <laughs> they take so many narcotics. And especially off just uh, mayo or mejo berries. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's really a pain. But you know what? They're so worth it. All right, um, let's see. I'm going to call this guy. I already have Dr. Teeth. And I already have Bob. Bob would be a good um, name for a beaver, huh? Bob the Builder. But let's see. Let's call this guy. Hmm. Yeah, let's call him Toothless for now. I don't know. I'll pick of a better name for him later. All right, come on, dude. Oh, let's see what your stats turned out as. Um, eight ten health. About to be expected for a level forty one beaver. Uh, stamina not good. Uh, weight three fifty four could be better. Uh, damage yeah, it's about to, what to be expected for a level uh, forty one beaver. All right, let's get you over here and let's get you out of the pen. Come on, dude. All right. Toothless beaver. Hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, now let's get you unfollow. Get you carried back. All right, so uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, I'm going to get started on, I think... Well, I know tomorrow I need to go up to the volcano. I need to set up a whole bunch of refining forges up there. I'm probably going to build uh, something on the side of the mountain so it doesn't cut into too much of the metal spawns up there. I'm also going to work on getting some more fertilizer so I can get some more crops. Uh, and probably... I need a dodicarus. That's what I really need. So we're out, it'll just help out with all this stone that I need. Because I'm going to quite literally take this out to about here. Maybe even further. And it's going to take a lot of resources. And and just doing it by hand so far, well, that's not been very effective. I mean, <laughs> go figure. But, <laughs> so, let me drop him off. All right, I got to get a saddle crafted up for you. That's right. All right. Okay. And uh, let me take a look up here. Because this is going to go out really far. And... I mean, I have to have spaces to put some vaults up here, put all the cooking stuff, fabricator, smithy, refrigerator, air conditioning, all that stuff. All has to go up here. And it has to look nice. I mean, that's one of the key things. It has to look nice. Um, and it has to be big. I mean, why not? You know? If you're going to build something, build it big. And build it right. And... I'm going to need a Dodicarus for that. Uh, as I was farming up all these resources yesterday, I realized that doing it by hand just isn't going to work. So, yeah, I think uh, tomorrow I'm going to have to do a Dodicarus, an Anki, and the Volcano. Well, the Volcano is definitely a must. And an Anki might be able to wait, but a Dodicarus, I have to do that very soon. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you have a good day. Take it easy.